finesse. You have so many of them. You have like back air. Or at that instance, you just like hit him with forward air off the stage and then got a neutral air. So yeah, speaking of win conditions, both of these guys know their win conditions. And yeah, right there, you saw Zama go for one of his, just with that gyro. Yeah. Also, uh, great to see Shinji. He hasn't. He's been uh, a full-time employee, so he hasn't had the chance to yeah. come out to the weekly events so much. So really cool that here at the monthly we get to be graced with his presence once more. Yeah, the return to Shinji. And what's also cool about this is like, I do know Shinji put out like, yo, I got some new anti rob stuff. So I'm ready to see that come into play as he has the lead on Zarbo right now. Yeah, this is not a tiny lead, and also it's a Sinji lead, you know? Yeah. So when Sinji has the lead, it means that Sinji gets to play the game exactly how he wants to. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Never mind, he's dead. <laughs> oh my. This came up faith right there. <laughs> oh man. Up there, Rob Up there just scales so disgustingly well with Rage. Yeah. That, that was the move they designed with Rage in mind. Yeah. It's like. This is the one. We need that to kill early, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, we need to nerf Rage. Uh, except for Rob Upbear. Yeah. Rob Upbear still needs to kill disgustingly early. Leave it like Smash 4. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but he, you know, we were mentioning before wind conditions. That's something about Pac-Man is he has... Oh, my God. Is he... Yeah. Oh, no, okay. not just yet. Yeah. He was a bit further to, off to the side. Oh, I love that. He went for the specific angles that he wouldn't be within range of the down air. Yeah. Yeah, Sinji is, if you've never seen him play before, one of the most intelligent players out there. This is a guy who spends so much time practicing matchups, labbing his character out until he knows, like, what is the optimal thing in so many situations. The guy always has a game plan. Uh, but right now, part of that game plan means uh, must involve getting the stock, and we see Key is on deck. I think that's what he's hoping to get the snipe with. Oh, oh this Key. Right. Oh. F tilt. There's the apple. That's how he sounds when he dies off the top. What? He just like gargles. To rob, Rob's like, oh. <laughs> I, uh, what, what? What would you expect him to do? Like have like? It's just like a beep boop sound. Like, like <laughs> <laughs> just like a Siri screaming. Yeah. That'll be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the dial up sound. <laughs> All right. Okay. They're gonna close it yeah. out right there. And that, that is something where, um, because he extended the hurt box, uh, sorry, the hit box rather, on the back air, connecting on that hydrant. You can tell that also Samba very practiced in this matchup. He's played against Sinji a lot, and he knows how to use Sinji's own tools against him. He knows what's up. Also, oh, I love this guy. He's not dead here, but this is a lot of damage, and he's still trapped at the ledge. Yeah. Like, he took 70% from, like, that basic interaction. Yeah. Bell is online now. I think he's looking for it. If he can actually manage to find it, that might be a stock, depending on the stage position. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I've heard it described before uh, that Rob is a zoner that beats other zoners, and that's kind of what we're seeing here. Yeah, Sinji no. not able to set up a hydrant to, like, actually effectively wall him out. What? What? Hello? How did he? Wait, 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 he was on. Okay, we need the replay. What was that? He, uh, he was on stage with the grab. Like he got hit, and all of a sudden he's on stage with the grab. Excuse me. All right, let's see. Yeah, okay, let's see what happens here. He gets That's hit. Text and immediately yeah. grabs. He texts oh, the side, God. but it was like that weird tech where it puts him on the stage. That's, yeah, like, a he did tech, like, that's like a tech in SDI in. Yeah, that's what it like, looks like. I think so. That was so weird. He was not expecting that. Yeah. That's why that grab came out. But It looks dope, though. Oh, yeah. Imagine if it had been useful. Yeah. Yeah, all right, so game two going to actually be on FD, which is interesting. I feel like that's a statement. What do you think Sinji's trying to say by taking... So sinji has been taking almost everybody to FD, and it seems to be, like, his favorite stage to play currently. Um, I do know Rob is also good on FD. His stability to, like, 
catch, like jumps. Yeah, and the thing is, I feel like normally what Sinji loves to do on FD is, ooh, nice, uh, set up his hydrant, those sorts of, you know, big, uh, you know, those walls. But Rob doesn't care about that. You saw yeah. the laser goes right through it. Gyro, he's able to maneuver around it. So yeah. even though it's the stage where I feel like Sinji wants to come here so he can camp, he's probably not really going to be able to do that effectively versus yeah. Rob as Rob. Yeah, Rob, just the ability to break through the walls so easily oh, and, and stocks just like that. And it's so devastating. Not only was that side B, you know, just a really good kill option in that position, but it reflected the fruit. That was yeah. like what Sinji, that was the defensive option Sinji chose, was throwing that melon or the orange or whatever. And yeah, uh, yeah had no effect. Yeah, and that, that's essentially why he chose it. He's like, yo, this is a reflector, a kill option, does my taxes. But <laughs> Sinji taking it, that's talking with the bear. Hopefully he can find like a comeback. And there we go, 44%. Now giving him the lead. Oh, I love that. Since he's really sort of mixing up when he's going to, you know, hide behind his high turn, actually when he's going to go in for an aggressive option. Yeah. And as a result, he's managing to get this comeback, you know, really handled 122 percent the thing is we've seen Sinji get him to 122 really frequently but then when it comes to closing out the stocks yeah. samba just plays around Sinji's kill option so well he hasn't gotten hit by bell or key once yeah but he has gotten hit and oh being yeah. at 160 percent this is not looking yeah, great but for like, back has been the main kill option you know oh what a tech you don't see techs like those do you? yeah that's probably like the very last percentage you can get away with, yeah. you know, actually surviving that. 198. And that's the thing with like Zamba, like he's so good at like living. It's like all these absurdly high percent and then taking it right there. So yeah. now like Sydney's playing on the back foot, able to take the stock right there, but he had such a lead before. I mean, the thing is, he's had a lead like two, three times in this set already, and at no point has he ever converted that percent lead to a stock lead. Yeah, and that's what's like so frustrating. Yeah, all oh, that neutral they're missing. That would have been a great combo starter to continue it, but nonetheless, Sinji, you know, still has a bit of a lead here. You know, only about twenty percent, but that stage positioning is actually coming in quite handy. Uh, the thing is. I just don't see, like, the fact that Sinji isn't killing for, with anything besides, like, back air at, one, at 180 or up air at 190. You know, he's has Bell in hand. He's never been able to land it, though. Yeah. It's like Zama is just playing. Once he has that Bell, Zama just plays <gasps> more evasive. This is a cross face, so it's not going to kill just yet. Uh, right as I say it, but that was, like, the most unconventional yeah. way to land the Bell yeah. ever. So smart from Sinji. Whoa! Okay. Oh. Work out. Yeah, that, that timing is just weird. Zama probably wanted to tech it and then just popped up a lot later than he expected. Yeah, or maybe Zamba was even expecting to get hit by the forward smash. Yeah, I mean look at this. Hold on a second. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go back ten frames here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so let's let's go and as I saying by frame, alright? So he's over here. What, his what? little his little head, his little head is gonna get in contact, yeah. right? Rob it. Boom! Rob it. It's, it's, Rob it. Rob Where? Where Rob was Vick. it? Stare on stage. Rob Look Vick. at the distance between the two. No, Rob Vick. That's, that's actual showcase, guys. I didn't realize that Rob has like a tele. It's magical, man. <laughs> All right. But that netted the momentum Sinji needed. So now it is 1-1. One, one. And we're back on PS2. I'm expecting us to like go back and forth between these stages, potentially. Yeah, honestly, I feel That's like FD worked out really well. Not necessarily because Sinji got to camp, but rather he was really effectively juggling his off. Yeah. So probably we're not. I would expect to see it banned, honestly, as the uh, possibly as the set might go on. But oh, the stage is. It's just like I was saying how, oh, he's never getting hit by the wind conditions. Bell's never landing. And all of a sudden, like, all these bells are landing. Yeah, no. He, he is ringing. <laughs> and 
and I, I love it. The way that Sinji is... You, every single trap he does is, like, carefully engineered. He's putting his new engineering degree to good yeah. use because there's, like, it's, like, three steps ahead already where, whenever Mubi picks. And caught. He's catching Zamba with also a lot of these hydras. Zamba has gotten hit by every hydra in this game. At tilt, taking it. And he keeps the bell in hand. Yep. And now he has the gyro, too. I think he actually has the key now. Uh, possibly. Which I think the key would most likely be used just to break the hydrant for some big damage at these lower percents. Yes. Surprised he's hanging on to it. Normally, you know, you actually would not want key. You'd want something more along yeah. the lines of Galaxian, but. Probably really hasn't had the chance to use it. And. Nope. Oh, well, there it is. Yeah. So, also before, we saw Sinji quite. <gasps> oh. That was the fact he managed to get just behind him. You saw that, like, he got, only got hit by the last hit. And also, was, like, at the very back end. And then, and then that it's stale. He's actually surviving it at 150. Yeah, this is looking great for Sinji right now. All right, forward throw. Oh, and, and here come the big damage. 89. Yeah, and I love how that's being incorporated. A lot of people are doing it, The Air dodge down, back, to especially when catching like an item, just to like get do safe pressure. Oh, oh, and he did it! He got the water slide. Let's go! Oh man, this is looking like a fantastic game for Sinji yeah. right here. Look at all this, all the damage. Yeah, oh, he's like, wow. yeah, I'm done. I mean, yeah, th that was at, what, three stocks to one at that point? Yeah. Yeah, and that's a Sinji three stock to one lead, so that would probably involve a lot of misery. Like, if, if you really wanted to play that game out, you might end up getting timed out. I don't think that that would be good for your own mental health. <laughs> no, it, it definitely isn't. So, Zama playing now a game down two to one, and this was Zama's counter pick. Yeah, look at that. Getting an early stock. Like, the difference between game one and also pieces of game two, where Stingy was, like, struggling to kill at 160, and now when he's, like, 120, 110, he's consistently yeah. finding ways to kill. All right, let's see the options. Patience. Yeah, no. Zombie just staying back. But now this is Stingy's conversion. And Vanis 8, 38%. Yeah, I will say, though, like, patience without a plan, doesn't especially against a person like Sinji, who is always, he's a schemer. Ooh! Yeah, that, that's a good, great way to describe Sinji. Oh, yeah. He's, listen, he, he's he, got the, he's got the anime hands, you know what I mean? Yeah, he's def definitely plotting. <laughs> Ooh! 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 He's dashing back and forth in his face. That's such a statement, too. That's like a, I am so not scared of you. <laughs> Nothing you can do can bring fear to my heart. All right. C catching him right there. And oh, <gasps> and that that is so, like, devastating of, like, your Zama's, like, because he jumped up to avoid the hydrate, and it just catches you all the way up there. Yeah. Things like Sinji hit it with a move that specifically would catch the jump. Yeah, and oh, yeah, Zamba's just faltering. He saw like the gyro, like he tried to throw gyro and it just not come out because he already threw it. And it's like his movements is messing up. It's just all falling apart right now. Yeah, and it's like I love the way that Sinji, the way he, you know, he'll throw out the hydrant and he'll cover the space, and then all of a sudden he throws the fruit and covers that one area, yeah. the single hole that you thought you could escape through. Oh yeah, this is this is escalation here. Yeah, he is going ham with it. All right, getting hit by the weaker hitbox of that bear. Man, Sinji without fear is a monster. <laughs> Have you ever seen him with fear? I, oh, absolutely. No, there 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 are times where he. Oh oh my god! Yeah, no. <laughs> this man's cortisol levels yeah. are at zero right now. Ooh, still doesn't kill. Yeah. All right, but there we go. Two socks to one. Now, it is worth noting, things are not completely gone for Zamba. Rob is one of the few characters in this game that, in the right circumstances, can end a stock at 40. Yeah. But 
Wait, he can also get juggled and take on a lot of damage. Yeah, and also, since he's just doing a good job of it, you know, he knows what the wind condition is. Oh! He, oh my god, are you oh! kidding me? Is that one of the sickest things I've ever seen? Yo! This kid's struggling in math, but he's able to do <laughs> trigonometry in this game. Holy <gasps> shit. That was incredible! He got the double up tilt too, just enough damage for that to actually kill. And what was bef what seemed like honestly just a foregone conclusion. You know, how how are you gonna get like a comeback like three stocks basically to one against Sinji? Well that's your answer. All right. Look at this. Okay, missing the conversion right there. Is he gonna give him the bell? I'm, yeah. I don't know if you should. After what just happened to you, I don't know if you should give him the bell. All right. See, yeah, Sinji still has this lead, but it's the sort of thing like he's just now getting hit by everything. Of Zamas, and it's just not looking good. It's like he really wants oh! it. Oh! Oh! Man, he was perfectly outside of that and the extra hit lag yeah. from each of those down smashes connecting onto the hydrant gave Sinji all the time in the world to line up that forward smash. Is the air dodge away. Yeah. So smart. And just killing Zamba across stage. And Zamba goes down at fourth place. Yeah, 3-1 victory for Sinji. Yeah, I love that. Hold on a second. Can we go back to that last yeah. play here? Yeah, so he set up this hydrant. I don't even know when. It's been hanging out for forever. But he he, he charges up the fruit. He gets the one he needs, which is the apple. Instantly yeah. cancels after that. Oh. Hydrant takes damage. Just a little bit of damage. Sinji knows the exact amount of damage yeah. that every freaking move in this game does. And he the hydrant breaks, I believe it's 13%. So what move is he going to use in order to actually send it to where he needs it to go? F -tilt. Two F-tilts? Look at, look at how close that shield, yeah. wow. That didn't hit his shield, that's kind of yeah. funny. But then recognizing the drop shield and hits it on the platform specifically to make sure that that bounces right into Zamba's face. Yeah. That was so brilliant. And the side beat just to kill right there. That was so good, yeah. Three stock to, I will say though, Zamba almost got that th three stock yeah. to one comeback. Three stock to one comebacks are rare in this game. Look at, Yo, look okay. at that. Yeah, this was so good. I want to see that one more time. Yeah, no, let's 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 I put that one on loop for me. Yeah. He got this. It was the Z drop. Yeah. Puts himself perfectly on the platform. Gets the side hitbox of the up tilt into the sweet one. Yeah. Get enough percent for the perfect combo into the up air. Back was like, wow. Yeah. He has a mouth, but he cannot scream. All right. Pac-Man's like one of the only characters in this game that doesn't have a death scream, right? One of you. So now it's back to us. It is Vivi versus Sinji in our losers finals. And so probably what to expect, Vivi is going to be going hero because bounce against 